talking about me as a friend. And I'm not talking about you being a friend. But I'm talking about having Jesus as a friend. A friend who will comfort you in the midnight hour. A friend who will listen to your every need. A friend who knows what you need when you yourself don't know what you need for yourself. I'm talking about a friend. Good morning, Galilee. Welcome to another worship service of the second Sunday in the first month of the year. We thank you for all of those who are tuning in via Facebook Live, those who are listening in on the conference call, to those who will review services today, later on on YouTube. And to those who have assembled themselves here physically in the house of the Lord, let us continue to pray for our sick and shut in. Let's continue to lift Brother Boyd and Sister Boyd up in our prayers as well. as well as Reverend Milton Nash. Let's keep all of our members and friends and family lifted in prayer. Thank you to those who have continued to give their tithes and offerings through the giving app, through texting, through mail and through contacting a member of the finance committee. We also want to thank those who have continued to join in on Facebook on our Wednesday, Wednesday evenings with our Bible study with Pastor Coleman. Uh, to those who are joining in on our Sunday school services, with Deacon Jackson via Facebook and First Lady Coleman via the conference call and our children's Sunday school through Zoom and our children's through Children's Church each Sunday. Let's continue to keep each other engaged so that we know what's going on with with church and we're continue, we will continue to be fed the word of God through our weekly services and Sunday school services. Amen? Amen. And I meant to do this last Sunday and forgot. But all of the January birthday babies, happy birthday to you. Amen. And I see we've got Sister Brenda C. out here with us this morning. I want to say happy birthday to her because I know that she does have a birthday on today. Amen. 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 Ain't God good? Oh. Oh. Our scripture for today will come from the 113th Psalm, verses 1 through 5. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Verse 5. Who is like unto the Lord? 
our God who dwelleth on high. If you didn't catch the theme of this song, it starts out with praise. Praise him for all that he has done. Praise him. Praise him for all that he is doing. Praise him. Praise him for what he has in store. Praise him. Praise him for the things that he has held back from us because we are neither ready for it or is it, it was not for our benefit. Praise him. Whatever it is, we have reason to give him praise. Why? Praise him because of his name. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. That's why we praise him. Because regardless of where we search, there's nobody, nowhere, that can do the things that he does. Sometimes it's unexplained. But even in those times, I lift my hands and praise him. Because it may not be for me to understand. Because I know what the songwriter said when he said, The Lord will make a way somehow. I'm not wrong. 
Galilee. Ask and pray that you would look down on the Galilee missionary back this church this morning. Look down the scrolls of our sick and shuddering. Touch and heal right now, God. I don't know what all the elements are, Father God, but I know that you know all about it. And Father God, we declare a decree right now. Healing in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for the report that you gave this week. I know what the doctors had told members of the church. But I'm so glad that you have the final say. Thank you, Father, for wiping out what was on the scans of cancer. I know that you're able to send sickness and disease back to the pits of hell. Oh, Father God, we thank you right now we thank you for being such a good God. Oh, Father God, we thank you right now for all the members who have assembled themselves in your worship once more and again. Oh, Father God, we thank you right now for the pastor of this church that you planted and appointed right now, God. Continue to strengthen him day by day. Continue to lead God and direct them in the path in which you would have him to go. Well, Father God, but not only him, but keep watch over your family and bless them as they come and go. Bless Galilee, in which we stand in the need of. I know that you can. Well, Father God, we thank you for all that you've done. For well, Father God, we, we thank you for watching over us. We thank you, Father, for keeping us safe. And Father God, we ask and pray that you would continue to watch over those who are really with COVID-19 strengthen them strengthen them so that they may recover well, Father God we also ask and pray that you would continue to strengthen those who are in bereavement keep your tender loving arms around them well, Father God we thank you for all that you've done because we know that even in the midst of all that's going on, that you are still God and you have the final say. And we will trust and believe that you will provide, that you will see us through. And we thank you, God. And we bless your holy name. We love you now. We'll be so very careful to give you all of the honor, all of the glory, and all of the praise. And all of the saints said amen, 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 and amen.
won't be long, but I'm going straight to the point for that. So much wrapped up into this <coughs> subject. From chapter one of the book of Joshua. Our subject encompasses those 18 verses. But I want to focus in on verse 9. It simply says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and be of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. That's enough right there. Have not I commanded thee to be strong and of good courage? And that's what I want to talk about today. Be strong and of good courage. job gone. And you tell me to be strong and of good courage. They're about to pull my car, my house in foreclosure. And you tell me to be strong and of good health is failing. COVID is right close to my house. It hadn't came in, but it's close. And you tell me to be strong and all good courage. Yes, be strong. Remember you are a child of God. And it says right here, be of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. It's key. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. And the text, Joshua, the son of Nun, and successor of Moses. He's the author of the book, Bearing His. If you look at Numbers chapter 13, verses 8, also Deuteronomy 32 and 44, you see that Joshua, before his name was Joshua, his name was O'Shea. Joshua had been rightly called 
the first soldier consecrated by sacred history. A profitable way of studying his profile is to think of him as the following. First of all, as a son. Joshua was the son of Nun, a name meaning prosperity, durable. They came from the tribe of Ephraim. Do I have a witness here? Nothing is known about his mother. One usually find, however, a good and gracious woman is in the background of a man who reaches a positive influence and honor. Without a doubt, Joshua's parents feared God yeah. and continued their godly influence. That as a son. Not only was his son, but he was a slave. Born during the weary years of bondage. His nation suffered under Egypt and Pharaoh. Joshua knew something about the lash of the whip, well. the almost impossible task in the brick fields, and the deep sigh of liberty. But little did he realize that although a slave he didn't realize that he will rise to become Israel's supreme leader. Yes, Do I have a witness here? And a commander. He had witnessed the moral and social degradation of his countrymen, brought about by the terrible idolatries of his time. When he came to the position of leadership, his solemn command were colored by early experience. As a son, as a slave, but also as a soldier, Joshua was preeminent as a military leader who knew how to plan his campaign, discipline, and his forces. Joshua used spies, but above all, he prayed and he trusted God. Yes. Do I have a witness? Many of generals had closely studied Joshua in his conquest of Canaan. They followed his strategy. He never stooped below. He always went high. It, it was the truth, the true of him one man named Sir Henry Havelot, of whom was said that Joshua was every inch a soldier, every inch a Christian. Joshua was the first of all good soldiers of the Lord, whom he encountered and obeyed as captain of the Lord's host. Not only Joshua, a son, a 
slave, a soldier, but he was a servant. Joshua's victory over Amalek gave him the open door of further usefulness and responsibility. That he was prepared for the responsibility of leadership is evidenced by the fact that because of his unwavering loyalty and devotion, he is called the servant of Moses. Not only as a son, not only as a slave, not only as a soldier or servant, but as a spy. Joshua, along with 11 others, was chosen to search the land of Canaan. It was at this time that Moses changed his servant name from Moshe, meaning help, to Joshua, meaning God's help or God's salvation. The chain name indicate and desire of Moses to lift the thoughts of the people Godward and to lead them from reliance upon leaders to God's help. Along with Caleb, Joshua brought back a faithful report. Y'all remember which the people rejected. Is that right? And wandered thereby for 40 years in the wilderness. Of 11, two came back and said, we can take the land. But the other said, we're like grasshoppers. Do I have a witness here? But not only was he a son, not only was he a slave, a soldier, a servant, a spy, but he was a savior. What do you mean? Moses represented the law, brought the people to, to the border of the land, but it took a Joshua God's salvation to take them into a land. He was divinely commissioned for such attacks. He was probably about 85 years old when he assumed the command at Shittim. What a savior he was. How marvelous he was. He helped to roll away Israel's reproach and to lead them to possess their possessions. His conquests and victories, typical of all the Lord had made possible of his own. Look at the text. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua. I, I looked at that and I, last night when I read my Bible, Dr. Fitz, I, I asked Joshua, I said, Joshua, why would you take this job. Mm -hmm. It is a son of God. Uh -huh. I, I know it wasn't but 11 of y'all when you went over to spy the land and you said the land flowing with milk and honey. I, I, I know that Joshua, you, 
you, you, you, you, you're there, but why would you take the job? I, I know you saw every time things were bad, they put the blame on Moses. Y'all yeah, do hear me, don't you? When, when the things got bad at the Red Sea, Moses looked and they said, Moses, we at least had a graveyard. Back in Egypt, you, you could have left us there. They put the blame on the Moses. Why would you take the job? And I'm asking you today, why are you going to take your job? The Lord has an assignment for all of us this year. And don't let the devil rob you of your assignment. Somebody help me here. I, I, I'm not going to let the White House. I'm not going to let COVID rob me of my assignment. Well, it, it looks rough, Reverend. It looks like you may not make it. Yes, yes, I'm going to make it. And I'm going to show you in the text and I decree today that what he told Joshua as he done for Moses and Joshua said I'm going to do it for you and I'm going to tell you today to, to when you get your assignment as the Lord was with Joshua he's going to be with you somebody help me can I help somebody here yeah I, I, he said Moses my servant is did yeah. Moses come back, buried God buried Moses and then he really buried Moses uh -huh. and don't nobody know where God buried him well. but God did the burial do I have a witness the angels were the pallbearers hmm. do I have a witness Moses my servant is dead now therefore Arise. Now, one thing you must do is to realize that your Moses is dead. Your Moses, in, in 2020, your Moses died. And you, now he's telling us today to arise. Uh, in order to get to your assignment, get to what God wants you to do. You got to get up. You can't wait on the assignment sitting down messing around. God got an assignment for you. Now, now the devil would tell you, well, you know, COVID out there. Yes, yeah, COVID out there, but you still got your assignment. Somebody help me here. Yes, yeah, they're after the food in Washington, but still, you got an assignment. Yeah, oh, somebody help me here. Right. Yeah, yeah, listen. He's had, listen. C -c get up. I, I, I want you, Joshua, to arrive, get up, and let's go cross your joy. Mm -hmm. Somebody had their joy in here. Somebody had their joy, and you had your joy. That joy was rough. But the Lord said, let's go across. It's rough for you right now. Somebody listen to me. I'm telling you to get up and let go of your joy. It may be your health. It may be your finances. But whatever it may be, let's go over the joy. Then he said, thou and all this people unto the land. He said, I do give to them, even the children of Israel. Now watch this. This this, this, this was really when God sent you and give you your assignment, he'll take care of you in your assignment. Somebody help me. You, 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 you're going to be blessed in your assignment. Somebody help me here. Well, wait, look here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you now. Listen. Every place 
the sole of your feet. That's what it said. I'm trying to help somebody here. The sole of your foot shall tread upon that I have given unto you as I said unto Moses. Come to tell you today, every, everywhere you walk, everywhere you God's going to be right there with you. Do I have a witness? You everywhere. He says he everywhere. The place of the sole of your feet. Go right. And I'm going to be right there. Then, then I skip verse 4. Because I want to get to 5. Now I want you to watch. Everywhere your feet go. You're going to be blessed. When you walk in your assignment. Sometimes God gives us things we do not desire. Yeah. Yes, Sometimes God put us in places we do not desire to be in. Yes, sir. You don't believe me, ask Ezekiel. Uh -huh. He put that preacher in a valley yes, of bad moments. Yes, right. Ezekiel didn't want to be there, but God put him there. And when God put you in a place. Somebody here know what I'm talking about. When God puts you in a place, you may not want to be there, but at the end, yes, sir. you're going to say, thank you, Lord. Yes, you. Do I have a witness here? But here, watch this. Not only everywhere in the sole of your foot, but look at verse 5. There shall not be any man be able to stand. Hmm? Lord have mercy. Stand before thee all the days of thy life. I was with more. Hmm? And so will I be with See, remind me of mama, grandma, granddaddy. Didn't have much, but the Lord was with him. Do I have a witness here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was with them. They didn't have the money. They didn't make the money that we make today. They didn't have the things that we have today. They didn't have, but the Lord was with them. Is that right? So he says here, as I was with Moses, I'm, I'm going to be with thee. And then he said, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Do I have a witness? Now he went on to say, listen, earlier in verse 6, he says, be strong. You, you, whatever your situation is, you got to be strong. Amen. Somebody help me in here. And you got to be very, watch verse 6, be, be of good courage. For unto this people shall thou divide from an inheritance of the land, which I swear unto thee, they are fathers to give them. But now watch verse 7. Only be thou strong. Very, it doesn't say courage, it's courageous. That thou may observe and do, watch this, according to the law. The law is the word of God. Oh, you must remember, be not this man. Whatever be tied, God will. Yes, he, he will take care of you. Yes, is, is that right? Yes, we got to learn how to walk by faith yes, and not by sight. Yes, do I have a witness here? He said here, which Moses, my service, commanded thee, turn from it 
to the right hand and to the left, that thou may prosper. When you get your assignment, that's some prosperity coming along with it. Somebody, somebody help me here. Yeah, I say this all the time. God don't want you broke. Oh, help me. Uh, God, God wants you. I finish. He, he loves for us to wear nice things. You know, he wants you to walk around with holes in your shoes. He wants us to have nice things. Now, y'all, some of y'all say, wait, well, remember you preaching prosper. No, God wants you to prosper. Amen? But you got to prosper in your sight. Y'all hear me? And you'll prosper wheresoever you go. Preach, Reverend, I'm not going to be long. But then, this is what I love. You you got to follow the word. Hmm? You got to abide in the word. This is what it says. I'm, I'm, I'm just about out of here. Ready? You come on, get my dog in now. The book of the law. Yes, sir. Hmm? Book of the law tell me weeping may endure yes, sir. for a night. But joy uh -huh. coming in the morning. Yes, the law tells me if God be for us, yes, who can be against us? The Lord tell me, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not walk. The Lord tell me, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Can I close this out? He, wrote, he said, the book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. Do I have a witness here? But thou shalt meditate. Mm. It ain't just something you run through. You, you need to learn how to meditate in the word of God. Do I have a witness? If you want God to bless you, I declare, if you meditate in his word. Do I have a witness here? He'll give you the desires of your heart. Do I have a witness here? Then I get to my last verse and I'm out of here. He said, have not I commanded thee. This is a command. This is not something about an opinion. But he said, I command thee. He told that be strong. I'm telling you today, if the road gets rough, be strong. Sometimes, yeah, I feel it now. Sometimes I might have to cry, but be strong. Yeah. Tears can be flowing down my eyes, but I've learned to be strong. Do I have a witness in here? I, I, I know the road gets rough sometimes, but while I'm walking down the rough road, yeah. I can still be strong. Yeah. Because I know the Lord will, he'll make a way somehow. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Then he said, not only be strong, but be of good courage. Hold your head up. Know everything is going to be all right. Do I have a witness here? Be courageous. Hold your head up. Don't let your head bow down unless you pray. But keep your head up and tell the Lord, thank you, Lord, for being so good. It may be rough right now, but I know the Lord is going to make a way somehow. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Say, yeah. Then he said, be a good servant. But he said, as soon as I'm walking, everywhere I walk, he's going to take care of me. But then he said, be not afraid. Do I have a witness here? I'm going 
gonna be all right. I may have enemies around me, but I learned that He'll bless me right in the presence of my enemies. Do I have a witness here? I heard Him say, "Neither be thou dismayed. Don't let life get you down. Don't let life take you down."
class online. And all the sources Jackson M have, the children's thing that come on right after we go off, I think. I don't know how that go, but they know how to get hooked up and everything. Amen. Murder did them and Rashad and them hook all that stuff up. I, I'm like, I ain't like my brothers and they ain't cut my tree dog. <laughs> that was not. So Secretary has, uh, Sister uh, Hogan has, I don't know the details, but Madam Secretary has put it all on our Facebook. Is that right, Sister Secretary? About the scholarship. Amen. They need to get those of you, you know of anybody of Galilee, member Galilee. Uh, Sister Secretary got all the information on the on our Facebook. Is that right, Sister Secretary? And so y'all look on it. I, I can't tell you what what, but uh, uh, it's on there. So all you have to do is click in and when you get through, click out. <laughs> Amen. So you click out when you get satisfied. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I want to thank, I, I, give it, I told Rashad, we've been doing our Bible study from home. And Rashad has been with me every Wednesday, but it's getting cold. <laughs> Amen. And the virus is, is, is out, so. Rashad and I are taking a break from coming here on Wednesday night. So this coming week we're going to do it again from home. As soon as the weather warms back up, we might come on back out here. Amen. 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 But may God bless you. And may God keep you. May God walk with you. Listen, I pray our church as the virus has come into our, some of our church members. Amen? I don't need to call no names or nothing like that, but that virus, because guess what? You know it'll get, it'll catch, get, in, get in church members? Y'all didn't know that, did you? Did it, it'll really get in me and you. That's right. Pastor, I know can't, you, and now you can't you can't go to no hospitals to see nobody uh, because the COVID is on the floor. They have uh, Baptist Princeton is locked locked out. You can't go in there. Period. Uh, and then we have other members over the city. Some are at home. Families are all in because of the COVID. Amen. Pray for us that the Lord continuously guide us and lead us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ray. God has. Thank you, Justin. My Lord, me. Thank you.